Hey guys, this is Manshark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Europa Universalis 4, and this is episode 38 of our Big Blue Blob playthrough of the Millennia in the Making game. We're France, we're not at war with anybody, surprisingly, but we are planning it because Britain has pissed us off by making some colonies. Really pissed us off. Like, mad bro, sort of thing. On a scale of one to mad, it's pretty mad. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna fuck Britain up, but we can't do it right now because we're in a truce for another 12, 13 years. As I indicated last episode, we have a plan to deal with that. So let's get to work on that plan. First step is annexing Bidar. Bihia, sorry. Which is coming along quite nicely. I'm really gonna have to uh, send a diplomat out to this place as well. But also fabricate claims up on Volga Bulgaria. A guy in Mauritania will almost be done, that's good. It's just a shame that our only viable rival is Mauritania. You'd think that Mali, or someone else, would be a good one. Oh, they want a replacement. Oh, looks like our diplomatic dude died, so we need a new one. Uh, I guess we're going to have to go for trade efficiency. Colonial range is rate shit. I mean, it'd be good at the start of the game, but at the moment, well, fuck it. There's still no, um... Hang on, what was that military guy? Like 59, god, he's gonna die. <sighs> i have to wait for him to die before we work out who to get. We lost our conquistador, that's a problem. Now these guys cannot conquist. But before they get involved in something, I actually need these guys to do a bit of conquisting for me. So, buy one, thank you. Just do that, real quick. Top. 26th of June, no, that's not too bad. And we have some rebels here for some reason that I didn't see. We can declare on Funch whenever we want as well. Oh, there's our proper fleet! So now we actually have a mission. Discover North America, which I'm pretty sure is broken. Save the German people in Kurgan, or turn Pamliko into a city. Done. Don't know which one Pamliko is. Ah, that one right there. It's on its way. You guys can actually get on the boat, because I am going to need you in a moment or three and head on down here. And meanwhile these guys can split and have half of them go up there. Are you done conquisting? Thank you. Right, and now we need... whoops, stop that, stop that. Don't think I can send him over to this army here while it's... oh, I can! 
I thought it was going to be all like, no, you can't do that because they're out of your area. But that's fine. It's really good. Thank you. Okay. And all we have to do is bide our time. Power projection is all fucked up, isn't it? Yeah, actually, we've got too many leaders. So next time one of these guys dies, presumably from Quistador, we're going to have to get rid of him. Uh, we're actually going to have to look at getting um, more leaders. Jesus, where do we even get that from? fully doing aristocratic ideas, which I kind of refuse to do on principle. Okay. Not too sure where else we'd get it from. I might do expansion ideas um, next because I refuse to do. Um, now, if there's one formalized officer call or under innovative. Yeah, well, that could be worth a go. I don't really think that there's anything else that would give it. There's probably some of these um, things. Actually, that's a good idea. So let's have a look under quality. Does one of these give us more leaders? No, alright. Bugger it. We'll work it out at some other point. Ah, good. These guys are done with their exploration. So, let's pull the Conquistador away. Move them up there. Move them to a point, actually. Good, they have landed. I'm going to ship these guys up north to near this colony up here. Fucking British. Alright. In the meantime, I feel that we should get a little um, fighting force together. Say... Let's say twelve regiments there, some of those, and some of those, and we'll equip them with a conquistador in a bit and send them down. And actually, no, it's exactly the same as this regiment here, so while we're constructing, we'll just send this guy down here, like so. And he can do a little exploration, find out whoever the fuck that is. Zealots. is having a bit of an issue.
guys, seriously, you're just not helping anybody here. I'm actually allied with Safala. That's <laughs> intriguing. Ah, good. We'll call that diplomat. Ah, that guy got back from Volga Bulgaria without us noticing. Good on him. Get up there and handle that. a succession war. It said, succession war between France and Volga Bulgaria if Queen Hedwig II there dies. Why? What's Volga Bulgaria got to do with anything? Good. Battle of Juanpa. Janpa. However you say that. Done. and 251. Yeah, you know, we'll do both of them. Whoops. Thank you. And that one there. Now, next level of diplomatic tech, we could get new transports and galleys, but I don't care. Um, next level of administrative tech, we get an idea group, so that's important. Now we have just found Benin and Oyo, which is good stuff for us. Now we can't just waltz straight through it, unfortunately. But I mean, we can declare war on Benin because they're, um, you know, colonial conquest sort of bullshit. So that's a good start. And it is actually something that I am going to think about doing very strongly. Just, I want to have a little bit more of a look around because there's some other stuff up here. Getting good sight on things, at least. Okay, come on down here. Actually... Oh, jeez, these places are all so, so many dudes. Bring them down here, because we are taking attrition, so I would like to avoid as much of that as possible. Ah, the here has been integrated. Let's begin the goal. So first of all, we're going to need some more dudes here. Um, what's our standard army size? 16, 4, and 4. So it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yep, that's fine. Need another three of these dudes. And then four of them. We've got a diplomat free, perfect. Fabricate. Go. And we should get malware in a second as well. I mean, you know, probably another month. Perfect. Okay, so they are in a high attrition zone, which is an issue for us. Uh, we just had to... had a bit of a rebellion issue that's coming on, so let's go handle that. Now, 
spell in here I want. I'm going to need a diplomat spare, which means these guys are going to take at least one, maybe two ticks of attrition. They should be alright with it. While they're doing that, let's see if I can pretend to make a move down here so we can discover that place. Trade companies are getting irritated. Oh, that does remind me though. These places should be able to be put into the trade company. Not those ones, apparently. Ah, so it is. So it is. That's cool. I'm also going to need to fabricate some shit up on Bhutan. Now, there's another way of getting into the coalition. So we could do we could do a double tap here. Uh, Bhutan, their independence is being guaranteed by Bengal. So if we declare war on Bhutan, Bengal will be drawn in, presumably. And then from there... Excuse me. That's another seven. Again, another six one. We can afford to go over the uh, limitations that we've been imposed on here. And some of these dudes. Ah, oh, we need three of them. And then some of these guys. Nice and easy. Oh, it looks like all these guys are fucking done as well. Uh, gather them up in Ancona, that's probably the easiest place. Ah, a decision is available. Lertat Sestmoy. Which is, um, we can become an absolute monarchy. Now, I believe last time we worked out that it was better for us. So, what's the empire give us? Morale and income. That's cool, but our vassal income is not much anyway. I mean, we get more out of the uh, trade provinces than out of the, you know, actual places. So, what I'm going to have to do is enact that decision because I'd rather have the revolt risk reduction and the discipline. Do it. So now we have two few rivals. Ah, and it's actually letting us select places. So Great Britain, obviously. Now the other ones, it was Mauritania or Turkestan. Um, yeah, neither, thanks, asshole. <laughs> But Great Britain, definitely. Good, and we can take this guy's commander away. There's the Conquistador. Conquistadori. Okay, so we can take either, any of these three. I'm going to take Ben and Vo. Got a free diplomat, we certainly do. Declare it, show superiority, go. We'll just clean up all three of these, actually. We just lost a general. That's fine. We'll keep him lost for the moment. Oh, man, all of our diplomats are coming home. Get some fabrication on. Thank you very much. We should still have... Um, Claims all through Britain. Yep, 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 yep. Let's get one on. Oh, we don't have any diplomats to send. Wait for it. Thank you. One on Marafwada itself. Thank you. This is because if we can get that as well as some other stuff, then, uh, well, it basically helps us out a bit. Now another thing I need to do is bolster these guys' relationships.
Let's work on Ajma first. Actually, we should probably work on Kasala first. They're a little bit worse off. Alright, so. We're going to have a lot more armies for this war, which is good. Good for us. Not for, not for anybody else. Great Britain is no longer a valid rival for us. Oh, we can't pick one because we're at war. That's fine. But it's probably going to offer us the two that we don't want anyway. Position to strike. Good, good, good. And... You guys hop on board. And I'll send them up here. I'm really making some nice explorations down there. Good. It'll help out. So we've got our war against Kangaroo. That siege of oh right, <laughs> I forgot that we were totally fighting people over here. Fifty prestige or five prestige and money. We can't even take the fifty prestige. It's just too much. So we're going to just hold that war in for a little bit. They are going to offer us peace offers where they will concede defeat, which we're going to refuse. But I have a war that needs to occur. Actually, no, because we're still producing units, so we will finish up this war down here first. Thank you very much. Sue for peace. It's a full annexation. Thank you very much. Now we have too few rivals. Pick Great Britain again. Bloody hell. Let's call that shit up. Now. I'll just land them. Actually, no, land them there then. Bengal have left the military coalition. Well, isn't that interesting? So now we no longer have a um, way of getting the coalition in through Bhutan, but we still have Kangra. And Afghanistan really shouldn't be leaving that at any time soon. issues in Kasala that we should really take care of. But the good news is that we now no, no, excuse me, we now no longer have to um, defend our eastern flank. Two of our most trusted advisors, uh, Damanios Lucia and Severin Sophie, have been talking a lot recently. Plotting, some say. Drafting plans for France's future, others say. Whatever they are discussing, it's clearly controversial enough to warrant some secrecy. I haven't had this event before. Finally, they approach King Baldwin II Littlefinger to present the results. The thick stack of papers contains plans for monumental changes to the nation's trade practices, including increased protectionism, regulation, and industrial policy. Radical, 
some would say. Necessary, Daniel Sir Lucia says. Profitable, says Severin Sophie. What does Baldwin II Lionel Finger say about this? Radical to simpler minds, perhaps, but not to the king. That's plus five mercantilism, which is big, and minus one stability. Um, we can tell one of them to fuck off and gain 20 power in a particular discipline, or tell them both to fuck off and get 20 power in both disciplines. I'm going to be honest, we really do need that inflation guy. I don't care too much for the diplomatic guy, but... 5 mercantilism is worth it. So basically we're trading about 100 admin to get 5 mercantilism, which gives us mad... That'll give us another 10% provincial trade modifier. And I don't particularly care about one point of stability loss at this point in time. Thanks guys! Oh, and King Baldwin is dead. I guess somebody didn't like those radical reforms. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, King Manfred Lutterfinger, who is admin 6, diplomacy 0, military 5. We could attempt to compensate for that and make him sort of an average guy by pumping um, the national focus into diplomacy, which is actually what we're going to do. Yep, good. And his heir is shit, 0, 3, 3. But that's fine. We're almost in a position to get to the next level of military power as well. Which we will totally do because it gives us more combat width. Which increases it to... Oop, hang on. Ah, oh, we've got to do all this royal marriage shit again. Okay, so that's the two most important ones re-upped. Now, so if we don't need a force to guard our flank, I'll just send another force down here to, uh... Kasala. Oh, Kanada. Okay, good. Now we're going to have an actual navy. A couple of navies, actually. So has everybody finished constructing boats? Yep. So you guys now need to go trade somewhere. What would be the most profitable for us? I mean, obviously Genoa and Lobeck, but fuck them. Do we own Salon? We do now. Okay, so I think... Um, uh, I don't particularly want to mess with Mauritania right now. They're fine. The Ivory Coast, perhaps? That would be a loss. Ugh, most of these damn things would be a loss. There's nothing moving through the Western Europe node, like nothing at all. I don't care too much about Britain because they're fine. What's happening over here? What about Bengal? That would be a loss, a very slight loss, but a loss. I don't want to send anything to Malacca because we don't have like land over there. Indus? What a Oh, Indus is actually... Yeah, we'll send him to Indus. Now, what are my merchants doing? The one transferring trade power out of the Gulf of Aden. That's good, but I feel like we need somebody up in Indus as well. So what are these other guys doing? One's transferring trade power out of Ragusa. That is no longer required. And we've got one collecting in Genoa, transferring in Genoa. Yeah, if we take him out, then it's going to flood it into Seville, which is not what we want. Because um, Mauritania have a guy there as well. Maybe Mali does as well. Yeah, they do. Right, that's fine. Let me just check this one. Yeah, kill what I have a guy. So we're going to send a dude up here. Ah, let's wait for him to get home. Stefano. And he'll get there in a bit. Ah, I 
know I promised you guys a war. I know I did, but we're gonna have to wait until next episode for that. I am deeply sorry. Deeply wholeheartedly sorry. But, well, that's just how this shit is, and I need to re-up all of these, um... What do you call them? The royal marriages. So we need to get ones with these guys. Thought something just happened up there in Turkestan. Um, and we will probably also buy our next level of military tech next episode. Let's say combat with plus two, that'll make it fourteen. We're still fine. Alright, so with that in mind, I have been sub, you have been yourselves. Later.